Hey guys and welcome back to this month's monthly free assets for April 2022. So once again we've got five amazing free assets which I'm going to be going over and covering today and those are the VP Real Food and Coffee Bakery, the Modular Concert Sage, the Medieval Houses Modular Volume 2, Low Poly and Medieval Interior and Constructions and finally last but not least the Modular Neighbourhood Pack. So a lot of modular stuff and two medieval asset packs this time around. And the same day these came out was also the same day Unreal Engine 5 was released. And so all of these packs are also available to be used within Unreal Engine 5 as well. They've made sure to pick ones out which are compatible and already updated to Unreal Engine 5. So very excited about that and without further ado, let's get right into the main part of this video. Starting off with the VP Real Food and Coffee Bakery. So this is all real food with 40 photo scanned food models, a coffee bakery scene and 30 decoration models for advertising, film, games, architecture and VR. So this can really be used in absolutely anything that you want. So the baked food models are available in 6 LODs from 25,000 polygons all the way down to 200 polygons. The scene is prepared with light baked and it supports virtual reality so that you can take a walk around the bakery in VR. So the key features are, as I mentioned, 40 photo scanned 3D models of baked food with 6 LODs and PBR materials, 30 decorative 3D models of various objects for coffee and bakery with PBR materials as well, so that includes chairs, tables, the signs you can see in the background, lights, everything which you see in the video now. And there's also a full coffee bakery scene with baked lighting and set up for VR with a master camera sequence too. So it does all have automatically generated collision. The poly count ranges from 25,000 of LOD0 down to 200 of LOD5, so it obviously does also include LODs. And the number of unique meshes are those 40 photo scanned food models, 30 decorative 3D models, and 50 models for the bakery and outside street as well, so you can also set up the scene outside the window of the bakery. There is 21 master materials, one for the real food and 20 for bakery materials, and there is 135 material instances. 30 for real food and 100 for bakery. There's 415 textures in total, 135 being for the real food all in 4K and 280 textures for the decorative objects, bakery and outside street. So the texture resolutions are mostly in 4K, however there are some in 2K as well and this is supported for Windows, VR and Steam VR. However, it's not supported for Mac. So I think this one looks absolutely amazing. As you can see in the video on screen now, it looks super high quality and looks absolutely fantastic and you can really use this wherever you want and again with the mass details of the LODs it's very adaptable to use on any system and for whatever kind of game you want to be making as well. And next up we've got the modular concert stage and so with this you can easily assemble different sizes of concert stages for your virtual concert so whether this is for an actual virtual concert you want to be holding or whether it's for a game or an experience or an architecture pitch whatever it is that you're doing this would work great. So there are 97 meshes lots of easy blueprint construction set up for lamps, high quality textures all in 4K but some are limited to 2K or 1K where it's necessary. There are massed material setups, channel packed roughness, metalness and ambient occlusion. It's optimized for virtual production and it's all free of all legal issues as all branding and labels are custom made by their studio so you can use this wherever you want. All the branding and labels are basically made up so there's no copyright or legal issues and it's all fully detailed models from all sides so you can get a full 360 around the concert stage as well. There are 77 unique meshes all with automatically generated collision and the vertex count ranges from 4 all the way up to 15,624 however the majority of meshes are under 1,000. It does also have automatic LODs on there as well and there are 7 master materials with 36 material instances. Alongside those materials you have 76 textures ranging all the way down from 64 by 64 all the way to 4K, the majority of which are in 4K. So again, there's a variety of different props. So you've got the actual framework of the stage, the stage itself, speakers with different sizes, props for roofs, lights, walls, cables, barriers, protectors, really anything that you would expect to see at a festival and a concert you have within this asset pack. So this looks absolutely great. It all looks really high quality and amazing to use. And now it is the Medieval Houses Modular Volume 2. This allows you to build high quality realistic medieval villages with pre-made houses with interior or you can even build your own using 209 modular meshes. So essentially it's modular so you can make your own houses if you wanted to 
but it also does have some prefab buildings which you can just place straight in as well. So it features AAA quality assets, 209 modular assets, 16 pre-made buildings, a landscape auto material, 73 nature assets including foliage, rocks, debris, etc, decals, PBR materials, LODs, collision, one demo scene and a texture atlas. The textures also range from 1k to 4k. So there are 230 meshes with 73 bonus nature content, 7 materials and 5 material instances, and 10 textures. And this pack is perfect for your medieval fantasy project. It's possible to build a fully enterable house very fast using over 200 modular assets. You can create a whole medieval village fast using the pre-made medieval houses with interior already included as well. So you could very quickly create a whole village scene with houses that you can actually go into and walk around as well so the player can really experience an entire village and you can even populate it with AIs very easily and very quickly. So once again this one looks absolutely fantastic as you can obviously see in the video here this is what we've got this is what it looks like and you can kind of see in some of the houses as he quickly walks in and out again and it does look absolutely amazing. There's not too much furnishing in there however you can obviously use your own props or some other asset packs to fully populate the inside of the houses. So when they say interior included I think they just mean the inside of the building, not any actual furnishing on the interior itself. Next up, we've got the low poly medieval interior and constructions. So as I just mentioned previously, you don't have any furnishing inside the medieval houses. This one might be good for that, however this is low poly, the other one wasn't. So really, you just see what would work best for you. And so this asset pack is for fantasy low poly medieval interior and constructions. There's more than 155 different models of walls, floors, barrels, furniture, books, stairs, and so much more. It also includes some particle systems, 24 blueprint items, and 9 awesome demo scenes. There's also 9 weapons included, that being an axe, 2 daggers, 2 shields, 2 spears, and 2 swords. So as I mentioned, there's more than 155 different models, with modular wall, floor, and ceilings with interiors as well. There's a stylized low poly fantasy weapons, it can achieve all sorts of different looks and it's ready for both low and high end mobile devices. It's also ready for many different VR systems and it's great for RPG, FPS and top down games so really anything that you want to make with this, this is perfect. It's great for 3D and 2.5 and isometric games, great for low poly and flat shaded look and works great for different game genres. So again as I just mentioned, any kind of game you want as long as it's low poly this would work perfectly if you wanted to make it medieval. The texture sizes range from 512 by 512 to 1K, and there is automatically generated collision on them, but there are no LODs. There's six materials and material instances, and five textures. So this is quite a nice basic one. Again, you can really use this for anything that you want to. It's perfect, it's all low poly, so it's very easy to run on any system. And again, like I mentioned, it will work on mobile devices as well, if that's what you wanted to go for. And as I say pretty much every month, I do love modular stuff because everybody can have the same assets, but you can all make something completely different as you really are in control of what you make. You have the kind of Lego pieces and then you make your own building from the Lego. Finally, last but not least, we've got the modular neighborhood pack. Now this allows you to build houses quick and easily with this complete modular neighborhood pack. So there are over 130 modular house pieces to create an entire residential estate there's PBR materials, albedo, normal, roughness, and occlusion maps, up to 4K textures, there are paintable landscape materials, animated wind on the trees as well, there's also collision and LODs where appropriate too. So some of the kind of modular pieces that are included in this is chimney pieces, house and garage doors with blueprints, driveway segments, floors, walls, house numbers, outer walls, porches, roads, and so much more, essentially anything that you'd need to build an entire neighborhood, you will get in this pack. And there's also 100 house furniture and props to fill your houses as well, including electronic props, for, for example, TVs and computers. There's trees, grass, and hedges, all with animated wind. There's light switches and power outlets. And there's also outdoor props as well, for example, power lines, bins, and road signs. So I think the amount of detail that they've gone into for this is absolutely fantastic. So you can really build an entire neighborhood, that being both the outside and the inside of the buildings as well so the player can go through this neighborhood and fully explore it both inside and outside buildings and feel like it's actually a lived in place because you can also have cars driving about people walking it will really feel like a, a proper place that's lived in 
not just somewhere that's been abandoned and everybody's taken all their stuff. So I think this looks absolutely fantastic and again the amount of detail in it is really quite great. So I think that'll be it for this month's monthly free assets for April 2022. Again all of these are also available in Unreal Engine 5 which I have a feeling that's probably why they picked these ones because again it released on the same day as Unreal Engine 5 full access. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you did enjoy it and I hope you did find it useful of me just going through the different assets that which you have for free this month and give my opinion on them, kind of going through them, explaining them and showcasing them off a bit. And I think my favourite one this time around is probably either the Modular Neighbourhood Pack or the VP Real Food and Coffee Bakery. Not too sure which one because they're quite different so it's hard to compare but I think those two are my favourite. So let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite one was for this month and again thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.